testifying today. Next, Susan Delbaney of Washington State, who herself was an extraordinarily uh, accomplished businesswoman for a small startup corporation called Microsoft. Uh, Congressman Delbaney. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thanks for, for pulling together this panel. Um, as someone who represents a hub of science and technological innovation and who had a career in the tech industry before coming to Congress, I'm no stranger to the importance of a thriving innovation economy. But today, I'd like to urge my colleagues to think bigger and more broadly about what that really means. When we talk about building a strong manufacturing sector in the U.S., technology must be part of the conversation. The United States has been at the forefront of groundbreaking technological advances. And we can maintain that leadership, but we need to make sure that our infrastructure and our workforce are equipped for an increasingly technology-dependent world. The line between technology and non-technology, or what others refer to as software and hardware sectors, it, it's diminishing as the demand for software-driven and internet-connected products grows at lightning speed. We're entering a new era of connected devices called the Internet of Things that holds transformative promise for our economy and the way we live, work, and play. Our home cities and even our wrists will be connected in unprecedented ways. And this means that the people designing these products will need to understand how to produce technologically complex products that interact with other products. And it will also mean that we need to understand how to handle and protect the communications and vast amounts of data that will come from these products. Traditionally, technology has been thought of as a nice to have, but it's increasingly a must have, a basic part of an organization's infrastructure. Investing in that infrastructure is not only a smart thing to do that will yield great returns, but it's a critical to maintaining security and protecting privacy and intellectual property. And it isn't just internal to an organization. From laying fiber to making sure every community in America has meaningful web access to securing government and private sector, sector networks and equipping our cities and towns with life and money-saving technologies, investments in our technological infrastructure help build the foundation for a strong economy. At the same time, we need to train our students and workers for 21st century careers. That means developing a plan to ensure that our workers have the tools they need to drive the next generation of innovation in this country. We should be including computer programming or coding into every school curriculum. We need to encourage creativity and innovation, emphasizing not just STEM education, but STEAM, science, technology, education, engineering, arts, and mathematics. And we need to support those already in the workforce to pick, pick up skills that will allow them to adapt to rapid changes in technology. If we want to continue to make it in America, we must support innovation, invest in 21st century technology infrastructure, and educate our workforce for the jobs of tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very, very much uh, for that testimony. Very helpful and very insightful.